my friends today I have a request for mama's in the kitchen with rosemary that's me and it is to make cauliflower mash and she wants to know how I make it look so good and you know it's so simple it is really really simple guys and I'm gonna show you now but the only things that you're gonna need is butter and we use real butter <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use some, a little bit of sour cream for the flavor, for the creaminess. And then I'm going to use an immersion. I think that's what it's called. I call it a hand blender myself. <laughs> uh, I, had a, I had a really, really nice one and it broke. Uh, but you can find these at Walmart, uh, little uh, CVS, things like that. Uh, they're usually in the... Someone asked me how much they cost. They're usually between... 15 20 bucks anyway this is the little cheapy one i think i paid actually i think i paid 9.99 for this one at winco they just happen to have them on sale at christmas time okay so here we go we are about to start and i'm gonna show you how delicious it can be now if you want to add cheddar cheese any kind of cheese it would work also and you could add garlic salt but we're not going to do that today we're just going to make regular mashed cauliflower be right back so I have steamed this cauliflower this was a fresh cauliflower now you can also steam uh, frozen cauliflower I just happen to have fresh today but I, I usually buy um, actually uh, this cauliflower was given to us by uh, some farmer friends but anyway um, what I do to steam it is I use water in a pan and then I take a colander and put my colander over it that's all this is, is a colander. And uh, then I put a top on it. I salt the, ca the cauliflower and so it'll release its juices. And then, voila, about 15, 20 minutes later, we're, whenever it's tender, it's ready. Okay, I'm going to place this in the pan without the water and I'll, show, I'll be right back. My friends, so I'm going to salt it. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. Again, the pepper doesn't come out because I, I buy the coarse pepper. A little bit of pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and add my butter to this. And the butter, it's your preference. If you like it real buttery, if you don't, I'm going to add at least two tablespoons. At least. We'll see what how we do that. And then I'm going to mash it before I add anything, uh, any uh, sour cream to it. So, let's see. I'll show you real fast. I don't think I want to have the... If this was a really powerful one, you would not be able to lift up and out. You would have to leave it down. I hate banging because I know it hurts you guys' ears, but I'm going to give this a taste. See if it's got enough salt. Mm. Perfect in the salt. Oh my goodness. I don't understand why people say it doesn't taste like, well, it's not supposed to taste like mashed potatoes, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Okay, I'm just going to add... This is for creaminess, right? You want, you know, you're used to your mash being creamy. Mm. That fell in there. I'm going to use this one. That's how simple it is, guys. One, two, three. Mama likes. Now, Eric, my blue eyes, he likes it chunky. If you wanted it smoother, you would just emerge, you know, blend it more. But he likes it chunky. All right, let's give you a taste. All right, my friends, that was one, two, three, simple and easy. And you get cauliflower mash. Again, if you want to make them cheesy, 
go for it and then add some shrimp that recipe's coming too but it's just as easy <laughs> it's just as easy I'm, I'm swirling it around because I put butter on the top hmm mama did it again <laughs> it's that good hmm Again, my husband likes it chunky, but you can emerge as long as you want to get it really, really creamy. The sour cream gives it a good, smooth taste. I have also made it with cream cheese. Um, it's just your preference, but believe me, try this. You just might like it. All right, my friends, I need you to let me know if you're here. So please leave me a comment. If you like this, please do. And um, subscribe. And tell your friends. There's a mama cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. See you soon.